We are back here on the zoo with author and journalist Leon Krause. I want to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> see, you got it, you got yeah. it. Thank yeah. you, see, I got it. <laughs> You, you, you went for the classic pronunciation. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I, he Love actually it. had to coach me several times. He wanted me to say it the, however I wanted to say it, but I said I want to make an effort to say it correctly because I have a name that gets mispronounced all the time. But he's not offended. See how he no, was, he was like, no, no, I love it. Not. I mean, you, you could have uh, chosen the Anglo way, yes. Leon Kraus. Leon Kraus. <laughs> but yeah. Leon Kraus is the way you should pronounce it. No, I do want to pronounce the title of your book correctly because that, 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 that would be a correct. That's not that yeah. difficult. La Mesas, Historias de Nuestra Gente. Tell yeah. us what it's about. Well, it's a, it, it, uh, it's a journalistic experiment. Mm. I, I, when I got to LA, I immediately thought of ways to uh, reach the community in a more intimate environment and setting. So I took a folding table, a couple of folding chairs, to an arbitrary corner of Southern California. And I sat across the table, invited people whom I had never met, and just interviewed them about their lives. So I always begin with, what's your name? And uh, 200 and something interviews later, I had uh, a, a picture, an amazing picture of what it's like to be Hispanic in Southern California, but I would, I would say in the United States, because Southern California, you can find people from everywhere here uh, in, when you, you think of the Hispanic community and, and, uh, and otherwise. And uh, the book uh, gathers uh, the 50 best interviews of La Mesa. Um, uh, the segment airs in Univision. Mm -hmm. And the book has the 50 best stories, and it's really, I mean, in my opinion, I'm the author, but I'm only, I'm only like the, 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 the guy who channels uh, the, the stories. I'm not in the book. It's the stories of the people I've interviewed in La Mesa. Now, how long have you lived in the U.S.? Five years. So what's your Hispanic, Latino experience been like since living here? It's been, uh, it's been incredible. I mean, I am the news anchor for Univision here in Los Angeles, which is the, the yeah. largest. It's 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 an amazing experience uh, to to be to be to have that kind of responsibility. This is, as you know, the largest Hispanic city in the United States. This is the heart of the of uh, of uh, the Hispanic uh, experience in the United States, and uh, to be uh, there every night with with people, uh, to be in their homes, to share the news with them, and to also do this has made me a better human being. To be honest with you. Ok, una preguntita en español. A ver. ¿Tú entrevistarías a Donald Trump? Una. Y la segunda, Donald Trump o Hillary Clinton. No, bueno, la segunda. Oh. ¿En español o en inglés? En español. ¿En español la respuesta también? Sí. Well? sí. Uh, Donald Trump o Hillary Clinton. I mean, it's, it's obvious. Uh, Donald Hil Trump. <laughs> yeah, Donald Trump. Of course. Uh, Hil Hillary Clinton, uh, of course. Uh, Trump, Trump is the first candidate in the history of the United States who's... Uh, uh, an overt uh, nativist, I would say racist, but I think we should say nativist, which is uh, a, a more subtle way and I would say uh, a smarter way to refer to him. Mm -hmm. The first uh, overtly nativist uh, candidate for a major party and uh, that should not, uh, we should not tolerate that in the electoral sense. I mean, mm -hmm. through votes, through democracy, he should not win the, the presidency of the United States. Um, and I would love to interview Trump. I've interviewed Hillary Clinton. I've interviewed Bernie Sanders just recently. I would love to interview Trump. I, I applaud the fact that you would. I, I, I say if they want him to def be defeated, they need to let him talk. Mm -hmm. I they agree need to you. let him say what he believes don't and then people can realize. He talks a lot, though. Exactly, that's my yeah. point. But, but here's the thing, I don't believe, you know, a lot of anti-Trumpers are taking to, you know, Trump rallies and they're trying to shut them down. I think that's not the right way to go. It's like, let him get up there and so people can see how clueless he is and how unfit and unprepared. Well, that's the way democracy president. works. I mean. And have you interviewed? Let me ask you a question. Um, Jorge Ramos writes the forward for your, yeah. your book. Um, do you work hand in hand with him? Uh, unfortunately, I mean, I unfortunately, not as much as I would like. He's in Miami. I'm in LA. Have you ever been to we Miami? We are worlds apart. <laughs> we yeah. are, uh, well, Miami and LA, Miami is worlds apart from everywhere. Have you, I grew up in Miami. Have it, you ever been to Miami? I have been to Miami. <laughs> so, because you said that the heart of the Latino it, experience is here in Los Angeles, yes. I would say, well, it depends on what part of Latin America your heritage comes from, because in Miami you have the Caribbean well, and yeah. the South American experience. Just numbers wise. Yeah. Just numbers wise. I mean, the the when when you think, I, I respect, of course, mm -hmm. uh, the Cuban American experience. And I not only respect it, but love it uh, in every way. Pastelitos de guayaba. Yeah, and, mm. the, and the coffee can't be beat. I mean, many other things. And the whole, that's part of the, that's part of, by the way, uh, that's, it's an interesting debate how people think of Hispanics as monolithic. We are far from it. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. we, we drink different kind of alcohol. I yeah. mean, no tequila and, I don't know, rum. Is, I mean, it's completely different. Vibe and music and many other things are different. But just numbers-wise, the, the amount of Mexican-Americans and 
uh, Salvadoran Americans and Guatemala, people from Central America, right. are just numbers are larger than Cuban Americans. I guess my... Well, my political influence, Cuban Americans are... Cuban, I mean, yeah, they call Cuban Americans, they, they, in, in a good way, the Jewish community of Latin Americans, because they're small, but they organize amongst themselves. I would say proportionally, though, Miami is the most Latin city in America, because only 10% of Miami is um, non-Hispanic white. Yeah, and you, and you can feel it You can feel it, you know? absolutely, in the air. Mm -hmm. Though what I was uh, wanting to ask about Jorge Ramos, do you think that um, when, he, when he had that interaction with Donald Trump last year, do you think that was an effective way of bringing about um, the impact that Donald Trump is making on, on Latinos in this country with the things that he's saying? I think it was, uh, I, I, I do think it was effective because uh, Trump reacted in, in, the, in, in the ideal way to, to manifest what he really is, no? Uh, that, that intolerant side of Ramos, of Ramos, of uh, Ramos, no, of Trump. Uh, Ramos brought it about very, very cleverly. Uh, in, in terms of fishing, he, he took the bait. Mm -hmm. And uh, the moment in which he does this mm. to his uh, security team, Team, mm. It's priceless. It's absolutely priceless. Uh, and of course, Ramos had requested an interview formally. He, he still wants an interview, uh, has requested one formally. Trump had divulged his personal uh, cell phone number on his Twitter account, wow. Ramos's. So, I mean, that's s s things that you just don't do. Uh, I hope to see him interview Trump. That maybe. would be the mother of that Obama. Well, maybe you will. I have a question. What's the difference of working as a journalist in Mexico versus working here in the U.S.? In your experience, uh, it's, well, uh, it's, th there are several differences. Um, the, our audience is more conservative. Um, Here the, in America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, well, really? yeah, when you compare my experience with my audience in Los Angeles versus mm -hmm. the audience in uh, Mexico City, People here are more conservative because also they've had a different experience. To come from a different country into uh, into into a country that's not your own, mm -hmm. and uh, try to assimilate here and face the the, the 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 hurdles, the struggles that they face every single day, makes you a different kind of person. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, a quick story: uh, I, I I was used to having this 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 sports guy next to me, um, mm -hmm. a young guy, shortish, and we used to joke with each other all the time. Time. But I mean, formally, he used to work for me. So uh, we used to joke a lot. And when I came to, to, to LA, the first week I was here, the, uh, the, the sports guy, the equivalent of the Mexican sports guy, had this horrible tie on. And I said, <laughs> live on TV, and here we have Mr. Enrique Gutierrez with the most horrendous looking tie. <laughs> what is that thing you have on your neck, Mr. Gutierrez? And he immediately said, like this. And he joked, and we got like, 20 letters saying, why did you behave like that with this guy? Wow. So the relationship to authority is also different. Well, the audiences are different. Welcome to America. On that oh note, God. we're going to take a break, and we're going to be right back with Leon Krause and Grace Parra here on The Zoo talking politics today. Yeah! Thank you. with guests Leon Krause and Grace Parra. Everyone, yeah. make some noise! Yeah. 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 We really did. Yeah. Yeah. We At the did top it. of the show, we were talking about the impact of Bernie Sanders, and, and we talked about it with you, Grace. What do you think the impact of Bernie Sanders is, in, uh, is on the election after he falls out of the race, hopefully? <laughs> or he falls or he might, he might, he, Or he says he wants to take it to the, con uh, you know, the convention. I doubt it. I doubt it. He has to protect his... What is he going to take to the convention? His platform... He just, well, today he just had a meeting with Obama. I His don't know what he's there, but... He yeah. won't take it to the convention. You don't think so? No, no, I think, he, he, I think he'll, he'll drop out uh, elegantly, and I think his ideas will reflect, reflect in the platform. I hope that Hillary Clinton chooses as a running mate, not necessarily Bernie Sanders, but someone Elizabeth who's Warren. very... Exactly. Elizabeth Warren would be amazing, I yeah. think, and I think that's going to be the, her, her choice. If uh, the Republican nominee had been someone else, she would have had to choose someone uh, more... Uh, not conservative. Uh, Centrist, maybe? No. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Water? Uh, 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 no, I'll, I'll think of the word. <laughs> but uh, I, I mean, she can take the chance. She can take but the chance of choosing... what about something like uh, Julian Castro? For VP, well, I, I, he's got a lot of heat. The old uh, Hispanic yeah. heat. Yeah, you, you like Castro because she's, uh, he's from Texas, like you. <laughs> oh. Oh. You, but you, know, you know that he yeah. doesn't speak Spanish, right? Yeah, well, most, uh, make him a most Latinos in this country don't. Is that a problem, though? 
that's that's my question, Leon, porque that, that could be kind of divisive. Oh, you speak Spanish, you know, I speak English. Like, right. ¿qué piensas de eso? Um, I think that, uh, again, if, if the nominee had been someone different, for example, Marco Rubio, the Democrats would, would, have, been, uh, would have faced a, a difficult choice and probably mm -hmm. Hillary would have had to choose someone like Tim Kaine from Virginia who speaks beautiful Spanish, mm -hmm. or Julian Castro who is from Texas, doesn't speak great Spanish, but his, his name is Julian Castro, his right. mother mm -hmm. was even part of the Cesar Chavez movement. But now that's not, that's not in the cards. Doesn't I mean, that we, suck with for Trump? us though as Latinos, by the way? By the way, yeah. Jeb Bush speaks perfectly. Spanish. Not yeah, only that, he's married, he's married he's to, married to, to, a, to, a, to he a Mexican never, woman. And he never embraced that and side Jeff, of him. Jeff Bush, I wrote a Jeff piece Bush about that. Miami, never, oh, yeah, I never understood that. I, I never understood, understood that. You never understood what? That, that Jeb Bush never brought uh, uh, into, the, into the discussion or to the stage right. his, his Mexican wife. Right. He's bicultural, binational, bilingual, very handsome well, kids. He's very low energy. He didn't have a chance. <laughs> Donald <laughs> Trump was talking over him. Let me ask you about this strategy about. Conventional if, is the word that I was thinking about. Yes. If Hillary Clinton um, and her campaign is worried about those Bernie supporters who are saying that they won't vote for Hillary if she's the, uh, the nominee, which she is going to be, wouldn't the best move for her is for her and Bernie to make up and make Bernie the vice presidential candidate so she can keep that whole contingent? Yeah, but I, 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 don't, I don't think that's his kind of character. I mean, I interviewed him recently, or his disposition. I interviewed him recently, mm -hmm. and uh, his team describes him not as a politician, but as an activist. Mm -hmm. And an activist, I think his future is in, is, is in building a better demo, uh, uh, Democratic Party. An MSNBC um, show. He's going to get his own hour <laughs> MSNBC show. <laughs> I would watch that. He and Larry yeah. David. Yeah. 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 Honestly, the Republicans really messed up. It would have been interesting to see Bush and Clinton so that we can be like, hey, new blood! New oh, blood, yeah. Yeah. Clinton. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I want to thank you for being here. This has yes. been a great show. I think our viewers... Thank you, guys. Thank you. A couple of notches having the two of you. So, um, Politicon, uh, you're going to be there. I'm actually going to go yeah. find you. Are you going to be there? Yes. Well, what is I'm Politicon? Going. I should be there. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll invite you. I'll make sure yeah. it happens, guys. Yeah. We'll all, we'll yeah, all get we're together. Going. Yes. I'm sure they can get this on Amazon. Yes. La Mesa. You can. Yes, you Historias can. de nuestra eh, gente, or gente, by Leon Krause. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the zoo. Stick around on Ali TV and watch the rest of the program. Yeah. Follow us. The zoo on Ali TV on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat.